Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. This is Jasmine with a three-card spread for the zodiac sign of Gemini for November 2019. I have three cards here for you. We have Justice in the Reverse. We have the Seven of Wands in the upright position. And then we have the Four of Wands in the upright position. Okay, let's get started with the first one. Justice in the Reverse. Okay, when you get justice in the reverse, that usually means that there's something that's not fair. Things are no longer balanced. You see, when justice is in the upright position, everything comes out fair because the scales are balanced here. So it's in the reverse. That means that there is no balance in the situation you're involved in. I'm seeing an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You might be in a lawsuit with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You might be involved with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or someone at work that is a Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius that's giving you problems. But in any event, the, the situation, the outcome of a situation is not fair. Um, I'm seeing you dealing with some type of authority figure that's prejudice. This might be something that has to do with prejudice. Um, I'm seeing someone that's overly opinion, opinionate. I can't say that word. Opinionated about you or, or things you've done, unfair treatment and discrimination or some type of legal complica complications is what I'm seeing. Excuse my English. As y'all know, I'm not from here and I have an accent. Okay, things will be unfair at the moment and that's because things are not equal. So you might be in a relationship that's not equal. You might be doing more than what the other person is doing and you've been feeling like it's time to get out of there. It's time to move on, maybe find somebody new or different. So uh, the scales are just not balanced. Same with the job. You've been feeling here lately that it's time to move on to find something else, do something different. And now that Mercury retrograde is here, a lot of you are going to be feeling that way. You're going to be feeling like you need to you need a change. You need to leave. You need a change. You need to update your life, your job situation, your friends, your family. I'm seeing a lot of updates. You might be changing your hair color, the way you look, your clothes, your speech. I mean, all kinds of stuff is what I'm seeing. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with change. Okay. But if you are going to um, find someone new in a relationship, I will wait till Mercury retrograde is over. Because if you get into a relationship um, during Mercury retrograde, it usually doesn't last. So I would wait till November 21st or after to start anything new. Okay. So let's move on with the next card. Here we have the Seven of Wands. In the upright position. So this man looks like he's fighting. There's people down below poking things at him. Poking sticks at him. And he's poking back. But if you notice he's on a hill. So he's got the advantage. He's up high and they're low. So he's up high so he's got the advantage. So I'm seeing that some of you have the advantage. Of a situation. Even though you're going through something rough and tough. You still have the advantage. Okay why do you have the advantage? I'm seeing another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe this is the same person that's giving you problems at work or in a relationship. Um, you know, they've just been poking at you and you've been fighting back. I'm seeing a lot of squabbles and fights. But even though you are having these fights, I'm seeing that you have uh, the inner strength, the stamina. This card is here to tell you that there's uh, something that's competing against you, but you have the inner strength and, and stamina to fight. You have the ability to stand your ground and what, on whatever circumstances you have, whether it be at your job. Maybe someone is picking at you at your job, but you have the feel, ability to fight back, and that's what apparently you've been doing. Uh, you have courage. Your courage is evident, and you can work through any adversity and all sorts of pressure. I'm seeing that. Um, but there is stiff competition. If you're trying to apply for another position and um, there's some type of competition with a company, competition is stiff. So, sorry, my tablecloth is dirty. And, um, yeah, but you're standing your ground because you're presenting new ideas, new um, de developing new things at work, if, if this has to do with work. And, and you're trying to win this competition. I am seeing that you're kind of feeling like it's an enemy. This person at work is an enemy. Or maybe it's a person in a relationship that's an enemy. And, and you feel like they're trying to compete against you for some reason. That's what I'm hearing. That someone in a relationship is trying to compete against you. Um, the man is, is in this, in this uh, card. He's like 
like he believes what he feels is real okay so you might be believing or feeling that this is real that this is a real enemy and you need to fight back um but yeah you have developed the courage to maintain your position whether it be at work or a relationship or whatever maybe it's a friend maybe i'm seeing that someone has a friend that's this person is your friend, but the, you always feel like you're in competition with them. When you're with them, you feel like you're in competition. Like, like let's say you're talking about something that's happened to you. Well, then they'll say, well, that happened to me too. And this, that, and that happened to me. And, and it's always about them. And it's like you can't finish a sentence because they always butt in and say, well, I did this and I did that. And so that's a friend that's like in competition with you. I am seeing that. That someone has a friend like that. Maybe it's time to get rid of that friend. I used to have a friend like that and I just couldn't stand talking to her. I mean, she was horrible. I couldn't finish a sentence without her saying, well, yeah, I did this too, and I did that too. No, 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 no. And I was like, ugh. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so if you're feeling that way, yeah, maybe it's time to move away from this person, this relationship, friend, job, or whatever. But I would wait again until after Mercury retrograde and make sure you have a solid phone foundation before you move forward or if you're going to quit a job make sure you have another one to go to you know um yeah but once you get through this i am seeing at the towards the end of the month that you're going to be like this okay this is the happy couple underneath that reef you see that's like the reef that's offering things there's the the poles that's holding it up so the Wands mean emotion and love and all that. And in the background, they have their castle. And if you notice, there's little children. Actually, that looks like a... Wait, I can't focus that. That looks like a whole family back there or people back there. But it looks like these people, yeah, these people got married or they're celebrating something. Something good happened. They're celebrating. So that's how you're going to be at the end of the month. Once you fight off this competition that you have here... Um, you can win the day because, like I said, you have the advantage. So you're going to win. Whatever it is that you're fighting against or fighting for, you're going to win. And then you're going to end up in this position here. You're going to have that new job, that new pro project, that new boyfriend, that new girlfriend, that new home. Whatever it is that you were fighting for, you're going to have it at the end of the month. Okay, because you stood your ground and you fought back and you won. Then the, finally you turned just as a round, hopefully, because this is our arcana card. But, um, yeah, and then you're going to be like this at the end of the day, um, where you're going to have everything you wanted. I am seeing a wedding celebration. I'm seeing a graduation celebration. I'm seeing a reunion with someone that you love and their family members. I'm seeing um, a, a, some type of work celebration because you won some type of competition or you got the promotion or something like that that you were fighting for and your rewards are coming in i'm seeing a home life that's content happy um again children i'm seeing children playing in the front yard children being happy this is the card of celebration because you finally reached a point in your life where your foundation is stable you have a stable foundation stable work environment stable family so yeah it's not bad it's not bad once you get past that mercury retrograde energy and get rid of everything that no longer serves you in your life then you're going to end up like this i am Seeing and Aries Leo Sagittarius through this whole, this whole reading. I see Aries Leo Sagittarius. I don't know if you're trying to move away from one. It looks like you're trying to move away from one here in this card, and then maybe a new one is coming in. A new Aries Leo Sagittarius that's coming in. This person is going to have money. They're going to treat you well. Uh, they're going to offer you this home, this lifestyle, and yeah, there's nothing wrong with taking it. But again, don't get serious until after November 21st when the Mercury has passed. And then you're in the clear. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you want a personal reading, follow the directions down below and I'll get at you. Other than that, thank you for watching. I thank you all for who have subscribed to my channel and watched. I really appreciate you. Please like, share, and subscribe. I would like to get monetized so I can do free readings live for you. That would be great. Thank you. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.